So this is like, it's kind of like Nightcast. Like you guys watched the first one, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like that, but you guys weren't on that one. No. So this is like that, but with you guys. So version 2.0 We, we better. weren't on all two of those episodes. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one to do the with Nick. Oh, yeah, oh really? Right. Yeah. Okay. Well, we um, are named Nick. Are you guys named Nick? No. So that's that's what this is going to be about, almost. We are all named Nick. Oh, shit. We are all Canucks. Oh, all fuck. You know you're a Nick Dag fan. <laughs> if you if you feel Nick Dag inside of me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I was just gonna ask you guys like what what Nick Dag is to you guys and how much you know what I mean? Like all the like what do you think Nick Dag is to you? How much are you invested in it? What are your priorities at? What do you want for it? What are your future, whatever, you know? Uh how many socks do we have in Nick Dag? Currently we're like we're, we not, we're not the, the majority <laughs> shareholders, I know that. Oh, he said stocks. He didn't oh, say socks. socks. I also socks. Had socks. And I'm like, oh, is he trying to make a joke? No, how many socks. socks do we have? No. <laughs> All right, well, that oh. joke failed. Uh, uh, so, cool. Sim, our song. Okay. Um, <laughs> am I, okay, I'm just being quick, honestly. Yeah. Just, like, yeah. Um, I guess for me, at least at this point in time, it's always been like a hobby. Like, it's just a side thing. I have a job. I'm not going to tell you my job, just in case. Because I don't want you to ever find me. Ever. Um, so, Drugs. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, I have a job. It's like nine to five, it's 40 hours a week. So like, this is when I have time for it, I can do it. And I like doing it when I'm here, it's fun. Um, but at the same time, I have no inclination to be like, I have to do this. Like if I don't do this, things are not gonna work. Like it's never been a necessity in my life almost. Mm. I feel like with you, there's always been like, I was talking to someone else about this, how like, there's like, you have stuff that you have to do, yeah. that you just have to do, like no matter what, like your mom says do this, and stuff at work, and then everything outside of that for you is kind of like, it's just kind of like whether you feel like doing it. Yeah, but like even the, the have-tos have always been like, I choose to make this my have-to, do you know what I mean? Like, like me doing things for my family and stuff like that, I choose, like I want to, not even I want to, because sometimes it's not. Well, it's like obligations. It's like obligations, yeah, I choose to make this a big responsibility in my life, and like, this hasn't gotten to that point yet. Mm -hmm. um, it might. Like, I never ruled out the possibility that this might get so, like, this might get big enough for it to become that for me. But just the way that I function is, like, I need to make sure I have solid things. And those are the things that I put almost all my effort into. And then this isn't extremely solid yet. I'm going to say yet because I think it might, like, it probably will be or it should be. So, well, no, but it's not. It's right now. It's not. Yeah. And, so and, like, so I can't invest. Like, I can't be like, I'm gonna pull time away from this to go to something that I don't even know if it's gonna. Mm -hmm. Like, I've just never been that kind of person. Mm -hmm. And you could just say like, oh, that's you not taking the risk. But like, I'm pretty comfortable with the things that I have and like, the way that I live my life. So it's like I don't feel like I need to take the risk. Um, but the more plausible and the more real this becomes, the more inclined I will be to move over to this rather than what I do not. So what I told you like with the beginning, like this is, if this is a thing and it works, like I'm totally down to be part of this. Which sounds mm -hmm. selfish because it's like... You want to come in later? Yeah, but, but I'm not... Like you've been on the ground floor. So. Yeah, like I'm, I still want to be as much as... A, like, I still want to be in it as much as I can right now and it will be way more when I know it's something. Mm -hmm. but, and then like how much would you want to put into making it that? Just well, as like, much as you feel like, right? Which well, that depends at what point we're at, right? If it's at a point where, like... Well, I'm is, thinking, like, right now. Like, right now, like, how much... Right? But that's, again, I think that's just predicated on how much you feel like it. Yeah. Happened. Yeah. It's still that. From, okay. Like, even right now, I told you uh, I want to start editing and stuff. And then this week, I just... Like, I worked two... Like, one 11 hour No, two 11 hour shifts. So I worked yesterday for 11 hours. So it's like, you get home and you're like, do I really want to? And then I have the choice to be like, no, like, I'm going to go to sleep. Because i got to wake up at 5 o'clock tomorrow morning and go back to work. So, I do want to start editing, it's just, like, there's no inclination to actually go do it until... Yeah, no, you have really long work days. Yeah. So, but, um, but yeah. I'm but that's where I'm at. Zach, where are you I'm right here, buddy. <laughs> no, um... So Zach has a comic and he does music also. Yeah. Like, if you want to talk about that first. I'm... Up to you. Like, I like having that, like, like you're talking about, like, that solid kind of, you need the, you need as many legs under this table as possible, yeah. so you can feel comfortable, you know, it's like that, you need shelter and all that crap, and, 
the you, in, human this rights. Hi- hierarchy of human rights. <laughs> before you get the self-actualization, like I've always been like, I'm down for the risk. Like I'm cool with the risk. I've always driven by like wanting to do something unique. Cause like I don't want to just work nine to five, or even when I'm currently working, it's like nine to five, and then like even like six to ten after that. So I get like a one hour break in the day. I'm fucking dead at the end of the day too. So it's, so it's yeah. tough to like drag myself home and then want to like do stuff, you know? Cause you're like so dead after like a 13, 14 hour day. But uh, I don't know. I, I spread myself out too thin. I think that's my major issue. Cause I want to do. I just want to do everything. But like. If you want to make it work, you got to just focus on like one or two things at once and then slowly build out to the more and more shit. So that kind of comes to the fact that like I really want to make comics and I do like Kurt said currently make comics like are making a comic. I <coughs> um, also make music. Uh, I like making music. I don't take it as seriously as the comic stuff. I do want it all to be packaged together. but. Uh, I like doing video stuff too. Like I really like Mega sixty four, so that's why I'm always down to do Nick Nag stuff. But it's just like I'm also at this crossroads sometimes because I'm like I gotta put up put in so much effort to basically be running my own thing with people, and then Nick Nag, whereas like you and Brat and stuff take kind of the brunt of it. But I try to help as where I can, like doing drawings for um, Nick Nag in the stream and stuff, or like just showing up for the other like shows. <coughs> who, who else are you working with on your comic and stuff like that? Uh, like my buddy Gray, uh, friend Pecky, and our friend and his girlfriend Jordan. It's like the four of us, but like Pecky and them handle like the music kind of side of things, and I handle like the website and the art and like the writing and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like me and Gray do the writing together for the comic, but like I, I handle a majority of like just the, the brand itself mm-hmm. and like the actual product, the comic. Mm-hmm. Not that the music's not a product too, but it's just like I have less of a hand in that. I still help out, I produce and stuff, and do vocals and things like that. But like they, I give I've given that role to Pecky and them basically, mm-hmm. so that I have enough time um, to like try to be able to do these things and also try to get this comic going and make a website and learn all the things that need learning like business wise. Yeah. So I'm trying to find the happy balance because I would like to do more for Nag Nag too, mm-hmm. but I have to launch this site first. I think once the site's launched for the comic and all that, I will be more settled. Mm-hmm. I say that now. I don't know. We'll see. I have a lot more time on my hands now. But like, because it, it's because you're not doing as long work days and stuff. Not as long work days and other personal reasons and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm I'm gonna try to make that work as much as possible. Like Nick Nag, I, I want to see Nick Nag go further. Um, but I'm, I'm I'm still kind of like yeah no let's not say no. I'm still kinda of like where Sim is though, like almost waiting for it to be real. Yeah. Like that's the thing with Zach is like I I know like you're just spread like super thin always because you're just always down. Like whenever I ask Zach to do stuff he's like yeah man I'm down like I'm so down like yeah. Zach gets excited yeah. to do yeah. all these things so I know like but like I know you're like spread really thin. Um, too little butter on too much bread. <laughs> <laughs> All these analogies for the <laughs> table with the legs, the, yeah. bre- the bread and the butter. Um, exactly. But um, so obviously you guys both have like some like you like nig egg and then you want to go farther. But um, I don't know what do you what do you want out of it at the end? Like where do you see this going? And like what what are like some things that you would have wanted like you want to do eventually in the future with nig egg or like you know what I mean? Like I know we're talking about skits and like yeah, yeah I, that's my main one. I want to do skits. Cause I just like Rooster Teeth and Mega Sixty Four and all those things. Yeah. I like the idea of like writing kind of comedy in that way. Normally when we do scene double, it's kind of just on the fly, and I like that shit too. But I mean, like I would like us to kind of like, you know, have a structured, yeah, kind of video. No, I, I love yeah. skits. Yeah. No. Yeah, I, um, I agree. And I would ideally like to do like a simple comic for Nick Nag. But that's that's all about time for now. I gotta get settled in my other stuff before I can be like, yeah, here's a four panel comic three days a week or something, you know. Like, mm-hmm. I don't know. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I also want to edit. I, I think if I do edit for Nig Nag, it would be for skits and stuff, not so much the seeing double thing because that's what you guys kind of already are handling. Mm-hmm. Um, I know you have a lot on your plate, dude. I mean, you got all these different shows that 
some pan out and some don't and we're trying to get it going. Well right now we're just in like a really transitional spot right now. Yeah. Where I'm trying to figure out what we're doing even. Yeah. So but anyway, Sim? With um I agree with the skits thing. Mm -hmm. Uh just because I feel like writing comedy is a lot harder of a thing to do than improv. Yeah. I, like that's just, just the way like two things because I've tried writing skits and stuff like that, and I've tried oh, you've written a couple. improv. Yeah. yeah. But, like, that's very much like in my own conversational comedy stuff. Like, yeah. sitting down and writing something that I think will be, like, oh. hilarious. It's really hard to do. Hard. Like, oh. And then, like, not even that, just producing it and, like, going out and filming it is the hardest thing ever right now. Because, <laughs> like, we just don't. <laughs> yeah, we it's, like, it's summertime, so it's not, busy. it's not like. Any specific, like, might yeah. be my fault, might be other people's fault, but like, <laughs> we just don't do it, right? Even though we say we're gonna do yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, but like, well, I think that's one of the big struggles that, that I'm finding is it's just, time. it's just like time and like, we, we don't do the things we say. Actually we're doing do. it? Well, yeah, it's, it's it's the willpower, right? I mean, yeah. it's like the yeah. ideas are shit, executions, everything. It's that, right? Like, everybody yeah. has ideas. <laughs> yeah. Who says that? <laughs> I wonder, I wonder so, who says Some guy talking about bank accounts. <laughs> Somebody, yeah. Like, Somebody that's gonna buy the jets. Yeah. <laughs> One day. One um, day. Okay, whatever. The card's full, so hopefully we can just talk louder, I guess. Okay. Just, you know. um, so. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I guess that's creatively, but like I don't know. Do you, you want? We all kind of want like a funhouse thing, kind of right? Like having a studio with well, like, like everybody working. And the or, essence like, of it, like for me, this has always been: I want to make jokes with my friends. That's it. Like I just want to make jokes okay. with my friends. Yeah. I want to make videos then, that make us laugh. <laughs> yeah, as corny as it sounds, and I know it sounds like a lot of content creators are like that. I think that's like, oh yeah, we're gonna make stuff that makes our, make ourselves laugh. And kind of, I think that's what you have to do. Like like a comic, like I'm doing is like try to make the comic you'd want to read, or try to make a video that you'd find funny. Yeah, and then chances are people will like it. Yeah, I mean, it, well, it's more. I feel like it, it it is about that. Like you have to like your own stuff, but also like you have to actually think that it's good like whether even if yeah. so let's say like even if you like this but you know it's just not a like only a few people might like that yeah. mm -hmm. but you can also believe that like this is something that is good like people like will like this mm -hmm. whether you like it or not yeah, yeah. people are gonna like this yeah and like just be aware of that and try to like frame your content like that yeah but um what did you say earlier that made me think of something um Same oh like in your in your like blood or whatever like this you just want to like be yeah so I'm thinking more about like your like strengths and weaknesses. Like, what do you guys think? Like, our you know what I mean? Because I know like with me, like I and this is I've said this to you guys already, but this is the first time we're recording. Is like I've never been the kind of guy that's like wanted to be funny. Like I don't really care that much about like being funny. Yeah. I've never seen that as like my core or whatever. But I know between you, you two, and Brat too, like being funny is like just a really core thing about you guys, at least, at least, I don't know if I'm reading that right, yeah, but. It stems, yeah. from, it stems from being like ugly and fat in high school. Yeah. And you need a way. Just that like self-deprecating yourself. You need a way for like, just to get a little bit exactly. of attention from anybody. Yeah. So you just start being an idiot. Yeah. You, start you were fat and ugly in high school, Zach? Yeah, I remember we were, when we were all fat and ugly. Oh, <laughs> every person. Was I wasn't fat and ugly. Was fat and ugly. I was, I was a said. dorky little white kid. That's why. So self-deprecated humor just helps me kind of beat people to the punch. And I get center attention when I need it. Yeah. You know? We're also too handsome. Now we are. Now we are, yeah. Because you're funny. We're yes. too good of shape. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, like, that's really a core thing. It's like, you just find a way to yeah. separate yourself from other people. Uh, yeah, exactly. And it's sort of just like a, like a really internal core, like yeah. animalistic like kind of way. Separate yourself from the pack. It's, well, I'm not going to look better. Like nobody's gonna want my genetics, so you can be fucking. Maybe they want my brain. <laughs> you can be you fucking too little. Pretty, you can be fucking pretty, but like, yeah, it might have a shitty personality. I don't want to deal with that. Absolutely. So I may as well have a shitty personality. that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> so no. what, what do you think like your weaknesses are then? Because like for me, I know like in general, like I feel like just like my, I'm getting better. Like I'm getting better at being funny. It's not that I don't like being funny and all that stuff, but. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I don't think being funny is like my natural strength or whatever. Like that's not something that's 
the thing about, I naturally gravitate towards. Yeah. Like this, like being on Steam Double on stuff is a little bit like, not like forced, but it was a transition for me to try to figure out like what my on screen, what I'm going to be like. The thing is though, that role can be funny, like depending on the context, yeah. fucking hell. <laughs> depending on like the context of it, like you're throwing it to somebody who like, is like, you know, like stoic or something, like we joke about it, like, it's funny in that regard. Like you don't necessarily have to be making jokes to be funny. Yeah, you don't need four like loud dudes. Yeah, exactly. Four loud dudes is weird. It's like well, that that just comes down to like chemistry. Yeah, stuff, exactly. Right? Of, like figuring out our own chemistry. like flow of how what what makes us funny. And even like watching the old scene doubles, like the first four, I'd say it's like I don't. We didn't know what the fuck we were doing. I definitely did. I, I, I'm sick of your I would say. I would say even at this point, we still don't. Know no, we. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, agree. Yeah. I think so, we're getting better at it, but. We still are like forcing it sometimes, or yeah, talking over each other, or using let, let exactly go on and on, <laughs> <laughs> or yeah, using the same bits. Looking at you, brat. Uh, <laughs> um, I'm guilty of it too. Yeah, no, but I think that's something that we've been doing like as like a exactly. crutch when like nobody's talking. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Um, Some of it is like inside jokey to the point that yeah. if you haven't seen yeah. an other scene double, like you will not get it. Cause like Saudi said he was talking to like his cousin or his friend or something and they're saying like, yeah, like if you watch some of them and then we're just reusing bits, yeah. it's kind of like, this is just the same stuff. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. You, know? you need to Cause, like, it's, spice it's, up. Not it should be. Like ideally it's like some person, some person can find any one of our videos, find that one video funny and like be able to look at that one video and not have to watch anything else to know what this is. They just look at it and like, you know what? This seven minutes was pretty hilarious. Now I want to watch another seven minutes. And then yeah. they watch that and that's different from the one that they just watched, but it's still funny. Exactly. It's like still on the same vein of like the same type of comedy, but it's not yeah. the same joke. So you need to get so, better with the callbacks, like when it's appropriate, like we've yeah. been talking about. Like, yeah. It's basically just like if the market, if we're not getting the views, we're not getting a following or whatever, like we're not gaining any whatever community. Um, that's just because we're not good enough. It should be like, if you see any little bit, like pretty much it's what Sim's saying, but like, yeah, if you see any little bit, it's like so funny or like the quality so good that you'd want to share it. Like that's mm -hmm. the key thing, right? It's yeah. like all the stuff that I share with you guys, it's like there's enough value there yeah. that I, I would just share it. Not because he asked me, not because Gary B was it, like, it's share my video. That you yeah. Want to I, share. yeah, like something that's funny. Like, so, like for example, like on Instagram, I was, I was like following this chick, uh, Fruity Poppin or something. And she's just some kid from Toronto, and she's hilarious. Like she's actually really funny. Yeah. Like, and I just watched that little Instagram clip. Yeah. Right. And then you go on her stuff, and she did just more of her being funny. Yeah. Right. But it's got to be like our content's got to be like that, right? But we're just not there yet. I don't mm -hmm. think. Like, yeah. if you see an episode, you're not like, oh, that's so funny that I want to share with my I friends. I mean, like, well, I told you before. I think we have a couple episodes that I feel like are good. Yeah. That not not great. They're just good. Yeah. And like, I want. Like if I'm if, if we're doing this and we're gonna do it consistently, I want good to be our standard. Like that's yeah. That's the bottom of the barrel is good. Yeah. And then you have great and you have like the ones that are just like somebody's gonna laugh for seven straight minutes almost. Or eight straight however long it is and just love it so much. And that's the one that they're gonna share. Like mm -hmm. and then you, they go to the good ones because like oh whatever, this is whatever. And like but the great ones that are like one in every hundred, two hundred are the ones that actually propel us kind of Mm -hmm. push our content forward to other people and get shared a lot more mm -hmm. like we need those but to have that you need the goods like you need a baseline of like mm -hmm. this is good and we're okay with this being out there on a weekly basis and then like the fifth week that we put it out is like a fucking amazing one you know what to swear on this yeah i don't care okay it's um, a fucking amazing one and people are like okay that's like we even know like this is the one that if somebody saw it they would show up somebody else but i i feel like it takes like hundreds of videos yes. to get there yeah oh definitely right? Um, I think you guys know that for sure. Like, I think <laughs> lately I've been really thinking, like, I can really see why, like, doing this stuff is, like, really, like, why it's so difficult. Like, yeah. it's simple. It's really simple. Just do, like, a thousand episodes. Like, it's simple. It's not, like, you know what I mean? But it's hard to just put people together and, like, yeah, coordinating yeah. all these things. And then consistency, too. Like, sometimes you're, like, you know, like, one week you're just, like, ah, I just don't feel like it. Right, so it's, it's it's like lonely. Like I feel like Zach knows yeah, this too, right? Like yeah. it's lonely sometimes, right? Yeah, like yeah. even if there's like a bunch of us, so. you still have to motivate yourself yeah, yeah. to do it, right? Yeah, like you're the one doing it. Yeah, you do. Right? Yeah. Like I can't unless like I can't have like you have the mouse and I have the keyboard and we're both editing like that. It's not like that. I have to like do the work too. Like we're still working together, but you still have to do work you yourself. You still have to isolate yourself in a way. Yeah. Do. <laughs> so basically, there's like a quote about some guy that's like. 
Like, he was just talking about, like, I'm just depressed. Like, I don't know how to get out of my rut and kind of thing like that. And, like, the first comment well, got, like, a bunch of goals, too. And it had, like, these four points of, like, just how to do it. Mm-hmm. And, like, one of the points was really good. It was the first one. It's, like, don't have any... Make sure you have non-zero days all the time. Like, every single fucking day. Like, even if you do mm-hmm. one thing, one thing is better than doing zero things. Mm-hmm. Okay, so, yeah. like, just doing that every single day. Like, if it's 11.58 p.m., and it's going to turn 12 a.m., it's going to be the next day, do something in two minutes. Like, just fucking do it. So, mm-hmm. you're, you could say, yesterday I didn't do... Like, nothing. I didn't sit there and do nothing. Yeah. I did this. Just because every single time you do it, yeah, you're just exactly. going to, like, do something at least, and then you always do a little bit more kind of thing. Yeah. And it just... Your attitude is just better as you go along if you keep doing that. Just because mm-hmm. you set your like, you get in a routine of like, I gotta do something. Yeah, exactly. Um, I like, I know I'm not there. Mm-hmm. I'm not even close to there in terms of this. Mm-hmm. In terms of other things, I think I am. But like in terms of what we're doing here, I'm not. Because yeah. I know there are days where I'm like, yeah, I'm just not gonna do anything for anything. That's yeah. most days actually. Righteous. So, <laughs> oh, it's the same thing. One is greater than zero. I'll put this up. Thanks, yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah. So like, I am Gary V. Thanks, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was Gary V. The there were three other points, like about exercise and other stuff. That oh. you don't need to exercise. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. You just need to do something every day, and I think that's what we need to at least start at. Just do something. Like it's when you don't feel like doing it, and all that stuff. Like, are you gonna do it, right? Yeah. And I mean, that goes back to like what Sim was saying earlier today. Of like, one is always better than zero, kind of thing. It's like just doing one. Just even if. It's like a small thing, just do something every day, right? And I mean, that's that's where this is getting to. Like, if we want this to be recreational and whatever, like, that's totally cool too. 